Hey, 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 it's Robert Westerberger here from 5dayfitnessandbootcamps.com. It's been a while since I've done a video, uh, mainly because, you know, I started losing my voice, so, uh, which a lot of people enjoyed, but hey-ho. Um, really, this is more of a, as you can see, the guys are turning up for the early birds. This is a little bit more of a, a follow-up on what I was talking about yesterday, and this is talking about... Uh, People using linguistics as uh, kind of putting objections and um, I would say barriers and obstacles in the way. Now, obstacles are there to be maneuvered around or even maneuvered over, but it's never meant for you to be stuck within your struggles. Um, and But a lot of people use that because they'll say to me, hey, you know, I've got a problem. I've got this going on two months time and then there's another problem after it and then there's another problem and before we know it we're five years down the line and probably nothing's changed for you you keep putting barriers in the way um and obstacles in the way from stopping you reaching success your dreams and your desires so instead of kind of using the word problems then try and use a different words in order for that like i say use the word obstacles obstacles are there to be maneuvered around and moved maneuvered over they're not meant there for you to be stuck okay so you can get around them a lot easier um but if you keep using this these kinds of language then it will stop you from moving forwards it's it's something that like I said, I've heard a lot of, I've heard a lot of people saying, hey Rob, you know, like, I really need your help, I want to work with you, and they, they maybe have asked me quite a few times that they want to do this, that they want to actually um, work with me, that they want to start moving forwards in their lives and start making transformations with the body and with their lives and all of this, but then they're never actually following up on it, and they wonder why the self-esteem and confidence is low. One of the things that self-esteem and confidence is, really is it's about the promises that you make to yourself and if you keep saying to me that you know that you want to make a change and that you want to work with me and then you never do then really all you're doing is uh, uh, you know fair enough you're wasting my time a little bit but at the same time you're only hurting yourself and you're only hurting your own self-esteem and your own self-confidence by saying that all right it's a little bit like me saying to you hey you know like i'm going to come around your house monday to friday um at 9 a.m i'm going to be there every single morning we're going to work towards your dreams your desires we're going to get the body that you really crave for um we're going to do this you know and then monday comes around 9 a.m i'm not there you know i'm a no show i'm there 9 30 would you be happy you might let it slide tuesday comes around i'm not there i'm not there at all would you be happy probably not wednesday comes around i don't turn up till 10 Say, for instance, I don't turn up till 10 a.m. Would you be happy? Probably not. Okay, so what is actually happening is you, you will start to lose trust in me. But a lot of people are doing this to themselves. All right, and it's it's kind of heartbreaking to see as well. Um, because when self-esteem and confidence is so low, then it's hard really to get back up. But... If you keep saying things and then never following through with them, then that's why self-esteem and confidence is low. Because like I said, it's the promises that you're making to yourself. And just like me, you know, it's, it's a trust issue. So it's the same with the brain. Like, So say, for instance, if you've been one of these ones that say, I'm going to keep starting a diet on Monday, and then every Monday it comes around and you wonder why you can't, then the brain is actually saying, hang on, she said this like four or five times before, should I actually uh, should I actually let her go through and do this? And it's a little bit like when people contact me and the and they keep saying they want to work with me, but never do. It's a little bit like the the boy that cries wolf, okay. And it's exactly the same with self esteem and confidence as well. So, quick reminder on that, and and be a little bit more kind towards yourself as well. Uh, I hear a lot of people being very nasty towards themselves when it comes to language and the way that they talk to themselves especially when people are jumping on the scales it's um it's pretty frightening so be kind to yourself um start keeping them promises that you make and if you do want to come work with me if it is the right time for you and you've not got any obstacles in your way then i'm going to put the link in the comment section below this video uh 
I can't really think anymore, and I better get in because these guys aren't going to be happy. All right, so this is me, Robert Westerberg from 48 Thanks very much for checking this out.